What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up on last time, um, we had the Spanish attacking us from, they've, well, they've taken Naples, and they've also landed this army in southern Greece which we are about to attack. I brought back one of the armies that was originally fighting up against the um, Istanbul front but they've been sufficiently damaged in this first fight that we have managed to recall them back to our territory to attack this force. Got some good units here, got some Asturias Regiment, Walloon Guards, Grenadiers, got some Fusiliers, and some Horse Grenadier Guards. Let's go kill them! There's a chance they could retreat. Well, there's a chance that we will not kill them all and they will retreat and do lots of annoying things like raiding. You know, just being little scamps around our territory. But this is where Thankfully, we own all of these local areas. We can afford to just chase them down with this army. So let's put my guns up on this hill. Let's make two wing formations that I want to push up. This might be a bit, inf a bit too much infantry for a congested front in the t near the town. Got another expat infantry unit on the right flank. Let's put all our cavalry out wide with the general. Don't worry, my children. Don't worry, I see the light missiles. Just like you're just hussars, which we could just drop into square to deal with. Here's the Walloon guards. Pretty damn awesome. Actually, got to hop over back here really quickly because they're about to make it. Although it looks like they've changed their minds. To be honest, let's do this. Let's, yeah, I was curious about which direction they would go. Bring my marines around. These poor guys have been shot down. Yeah, I didn't think they would survive. Put this line from tune it into. Oh no, they're going to do guards. They'll. They'll fire. No, the infantry broke square. I don't want my marines to get involved. I want them to just shoot. Although I might actually put them in. Hey, the going to guards have got off. Got off their horses. Let's charge the marines in. The light the hussars came back. The trouble is our colours are so close. These poor dragoons won't know what hit him. being used exactly as they should be, but it will all be for nothing. So send a regiment of force into these guerrillas. So we're engaging the Walloon guards, they've got the Irish brigade. Yeah, these grenadier guards are being getting raked. I'm fire from the flank. Okay, you go take out the general. Send the light of SARS against the general. 
flank is crumbling, so just keep pushing. Can you abandon chasing down the guerrillas and instead go for someone like line infantry? The volume guards would be a good target. But be careful with the spikes they've set up. against the Walloon Guards. No, not my general. So this cavalry unit against the Walloon Guards. Let's pull one of these guys away from the general fight and set them against the Regimento de Sevilla. Which I will halt fire at will with. <laughs> halt fire at will for. Halt artillery fire. Absolutely continue. And then that's our cavalry. I can't hit the first regiment. Get this grenadier unit because they're in. They're all in position. And you go after the foot infantry, foot line infantry. After the big block of infantry here. It doesn't really matter who, just try to do as much. Actually, you could kill that grenadier unit. Go after the fusiliers. Although it looks like soon these, these are the only units that are left. Destroy the fusiliers. I'm even going to bring this other cavalry over here now. God knows where all the fusiliers are, they've spread out big time. Not they routed. It's all on the general. Ah, the general's killed his matey boys. Awesome. So they've been knocked down to only 300 men. So they are going to be frustrating and able to cause problems behind our lines but at the very least they've retreated to Ottoman territory rather than our own yep, so this army is growing ready to a, take back Naples and then they're going to hop along and take uh, uh, take Cagliari then they're going to take Corsica then maybe Morocco, Gibraltar to, to secure control of the strait Technology's progressing okay. Okay. We're trading with everyone we can trade with, despite our enemies. Go on, France. We haven't been at war properly for ages. Yes! And that means they've left our port alone. Hurrah! And we're trading with them. What a fortuitous turn of events. Until then, turn. Yep, so long France. We are good friends, you and I. There is no need for us to, wipe, to, to fight against each other. So long Spain. You've landed an army of fools at our door. And they're actually going to go up and start... <laughs> you know. Sorry, Poland. Once my army uh, secures Istanbul... That are my, my other force is going to go north, and we're going to defend the Sally, the last Sally potentially of the Istanbul garrison, which will be lovely. More than happy to to sign the death warrants on a, of another few thousand men, as long as they're not my men. So I got a bottle. I got a bottle of um, squash on the go. We're in the UK. Call it. Squash, I suppose people call it cordial. 
No, oh, I didn't check if they lost their mortars or not. I think they, I think they did. Yeah, I'll leave my cavalry unlimbered though. If they aren't, we're going to push up. If they don't have mortars, we'll push up. If they do, then we will hunker down. So I'll put my barricades up, no, my trenches up, just in case. I left some fusiliers out. It looks like they have no mortars. Um, if we got my artillery up here, that's not a bad spot. They are getting reinforcements from right at the back of the fort. Some more Armenian archers. Water, Muslim, Semat, Janissaries. They look pretty awesome. Arm populus, arm populus. Israeli, Israeli. Camel nomads. Small square is done for. Let's see how many they can. Let's see how many how many they can kill. Let me see how many these fusiliers can shoot at. Then they can hit the fusilier square and they're routed. Good stuff. Janissaries comes the armed populace. Limited unit of riskers of souls. Yeah, we are deploying our cavalry into them. Head off this unit of Zamandari horsemen. Ah, we left the unit of line infantry behind. Not that they'll get much use. The melee assault has crumbled. Cannons are there. Unlimber the guns. Grenadiers have gone crazy trying to chase after people to not on guard mode. Just slaughter the armed populace. Definitely set you guys to attack the horsemen. Well, they're gonna get some bow kills off then. I sent my weak unit to do some damage. Get my artillery to pound this horseman unit. Right, it's the arrival of my heroic cavalry. Friendly fire round did dismount one of my cavalrymen. Whereas everyone else just push up. It won't need money at all. Because there is just an infantry unit and a cavalry unit coming in to support. And an artillery unit coming in to support. I'm actually get my cavalry into this mess. Still my general, to be honest.
you take out the Fellaine, because there's only five of them. Two of them. Chase down the Armenian archers. Don't touch the camel. See, one of them just ran into the camel. It's like, no, I don't... Ignore the camel. Let them be shot to bits. I say speeding up because there's nothing really going on. Go after the riskers of souls. Camels are routing. Everyone's routing. And who are you? 58 riskers of souls. Some of these, but these guys are going to route. There's nothing, nothing possible. Nothing can really be done about that. The risks of souls are going to get shot to pieces. Well, one would hope. Instead, mob them with guard mode off. Actually, no, don't worry about guard mode. This unit can come hoover them up. Absolutely continue. There's not many of them left and we may as well. It's only these riskers of souls and we've got loads of cavalry here to do it. We actually killed the riskers of souls before this unit could kill a handful of us really. But damn right it was decisive. That's gutted the garrison. Awesome. So let's see if the AI end turn phase. <laughs> let's see if it's any more screwy. And I'm probably going to head the, head the problem off right now and cut the recording. So see you in a sec. And we're back in the ball game. And, and Sweden wants to ally as long as we give them technology and they'll give us cash. We have no allies, but being an ally of Sweden that helps helps keep us off Great Britain's um, hit list it's pretty worth doing so we've got military access which you know hooray we've got military access through Sweden where will we how will we use that to our best advantage um, yes attacking west against Spain also gets us access to ports facing the Mediterranean no, facing the Atlantic and the rest of the world we can start to explore some Italian colonies 5,000 gold so that's already that's a decent enough army to lay siege Giacomo Moscow Giacomo you can lay siege to Naples and just to be honest you could probably take it but I want to do some other stuff first. Let's get another unit of howitzers. Two more guns. And probably something like I oh, know no line infantry guard that starts to cut out my run down my uh, cash balance. Some we can replenish and hmm. they might hold position, or it may just send them up towards. <laughs> I think the Iroquois Confederacy or the Cherokee got destroyed. Oh, good God! The Mughal Empire. The Mughal Empire is making massive gains in the Americas. So who are they at war with? It must be at war with a bunch of people. Just France. Just France and the pirates. But Jesus. We've got Curacao as well. Well, they managed to take take a colonial possession and make peace. Unless 
Amsterdam rebelled. Damn, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, they're gonna be free to, to pump out. Stack after stack after stack after stack. Holy moly. Yeah, we're gonna need that better navy. Can't repair the port, but I can repair the wineries. Oh, actually, we, we own Istanbul. Do you have a school? My workshops, Weaver's Cottage. Uh, okay, so let's go back to this chap's recruitment and cancel a lot of it because. Okay, you guys are suffering from religious problems first and foremost. So. Oh, I can't actually repair anything. I'm going to keep this for now. Could build a direct happiness building, which is probably a smart thing to do. Which gives us a bunch of cool units to recruit. But I think I might build a religious building. Actually, don't we have a minister around here somewhere? <laughs> we don't have any ministers. None. I suppose I don't have any religious schools anymore. Build a church school to help start to crack down get this religious unrest down a bit and we're probably going to exempt them from tax so unfortunately I can't repair anything worth repairing it's a tricky one it could be a hmm. A light galley into Thessaloniki. Let's also recruit a light galley to get Heracleon to occupy the ports. Let's upgrade the vine. Oh no, do I want to upgrade the vineyard? Or do I want to spend it on Ernesto? Let's push Ernesto up just in case the Spanish decide to be a bit tricky. I might end up having to recruit another army to go down here. So right now I might be. I'm okay with this army taking back these islands and also Malta depending on how diplomatically connected they are protector of Dagestan and Dagestan has a lot of protectorates because my because it, it's stupid they've got a lot of allies including Russia so maybe not Malta just yet Too bad we can't repair anything, so, but I want to keep the cash so I can repair it in the next turn. Yeah, a direct happiness building might have been the smart answer. But in the grand scheme, we're going to be okay. Ooh, the thieving Spaniards are sallying out of Naples. Their army is extremely damaged. And they are going to get cut to ribbons by our artillery and by our muskets, so poor devils. That's what I say to them. Poor, poor devils. Pretty good position too. Can we put my artillery up high and my howitzers behind them, behind the line as well. Grenadiers on the right flank. Oh, they're in the centre. Fair enough, so. Cavalry on each flank, waiting for the AI to retreat. Could try and push up and take the hill specifically, but... Their army is so tiny, really, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Guards, Asturias Regiment, Spanish Regiment of the Infantry in Memorial de Rey. They look pretty good to be fair. They got two units of those. Here comes, ooh, Curassiers. Let's bring our cavalry back in range of our troops. 
him how it says to keep plinking at the QSCS. Gauge at max range. Okay, let's drop him into square. See if I can lure them in to charge. A prepared infantry position. Conquistadors. In the horse guard unit, Spain is pretty well equipped with decent cavalry. We want to watch to see if they. if they actually attack us. Yep, so here comes the cuirassiers to charge my square formation, and you, you also get into square. I want my cavalry in reserve to counter charge. I want to need them to charge from the rear, really. There isn't much of a charge. Conquistadors do have pikemen. We've got artillery howitzer fire raining down on them, which is absolutely helping. Your plate armor is not helping you in that regard. Pretty sure these Swiss pikes are being engaged by accident, as by being in the way. It's got another regiment of dragoons coming in. They're routing, so it would be nice to see if we could kill them. But they are going to escape. The Dragoons are on foot. Come on, go left. I wanted to hit those Dragoons, but for whatever reason they kept trying to run over here. Gorillas up here. Charge my cavalry up to go hit the gorillas. That's the Swiss pikemen done. Let's pretty much arrange these guys to fire downhill. There you go, and chase down those dragoons. How can they be running faster than you on foot? Target howitzers against the Royal Guards. So you have a gunfight in the sensor, but some of our units are continuing to engage with musketry. Militia are broken from the initial assault. Got a foot guard unit still fighting in the centre, which we're probably going to have to actually make units attack specifically. Let's be honest, these dragoons are really annoying. Bring this cover back. Don't worry about the gorillas. They can be dealt with pretty simply. Charge the cavalry down. Focus fired artillery onto the bottom guards. And we're going to take a bit of hammering, but they're going to. Our losses are more easily replaced. can just continue to snipe at the general. God, the guerrilla mercenaries came back. Go on then, general. Go on, Guy Como. Go take him out. 
using a lot of... This must be a musketry that was missing. Yeah, they are going after the walling guards, so it's not a problem. Get my artillery to focus on the general. The guerrillas also want to charge my general. Over the hill we first. The Swiss pikes, then, if that's what you really want to do. They're charging? No, they're not charging yet. Target the guns to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Let's run you guys away so we don't lose any men to easy, easy kills. General has been killed. There we go, let's counter charge. Just to make sure they do stay dead. The general to chase down the Walling Guards. Yeah, they're shattered now, so chase after the Swiss Pikes. Let's charge my cavalry on to. some of these remaining troops. In order to make sure they stay dead. There we go. And the Asturias Regiment are going to rout. These Walling Guards are some of the only ones that are left. Well, they're actually new guys. That militia's going to rout, so I'm probably going to send all my cavalry to instead chase down this provincial militia unit. But they too will rout, but not until the 7th gets some more kills. Yes, that wasn't close. We lost more men than I'd like, but that's not the same thing. But there we go. Delicious. Now we have four men for every one of theirs. And there go the Spanish, creating more troops to send eastwards. And we've hit the Ottoman end turn once more. So I'm going to cut the recording here, then bring you guys back when things are moving again. So see you in a minute. And we're back moving again. And obviously there's another Mughal stack on the move. So it will be pretty critical in a war against the Mughal Empire to have a pretty strong naval presence to intercept and prevent any movement of troops. At least as far as possible. Hey, we've got a Catholic missionary in Morea. So Morea is already slowly being recruited or being converted. So he gets you over to Athens. Start re reducing that religious unrest and growing Catholicism. Oh, yeah. Ottomans are on the march, or they're doing some annoying little raids because we own their city. God, how much does it cost to rebuild this? Two and a half grand. Yeah, it's really starting to add up, not having Naples. Let's set these guys over here. And let's just absorb units into one another. A to keep the strength up and B just to keep the replenishment needs down. 
Awesome. So Ernesto Defendi come down and hit Hamza Avni. You're going to take him out. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for more sparring against the Ottomans. Cheers everyone. Thank you.